I was out walking one morning for pleasure I met a young cowpuncher riding along His hat was thrown back and his spurs was a jingling As he up and approached me a singing his song Whoopie tie I oh get along little dogies It's your misfortune and none of my own Whoopie tie I oh get along little dogies For you know that Wyoming will be your new home so many wells that there wouldn't be a stream in this country left with water fit for cattle to drink. Oh, no, maybe not that bad. This always has been a cattle country and always will be. Now, you got to stop that. I had to listen to you for two hours last night at that town meeting. When I got through talking, they agreed with me, didn't they? Yeah, but Doris Maxwell didn't. Man, was she mad. Like a doggy with his tail caught in the barn door. If I threw cool water on her stock selling radio program, that's her tough luck. <laughs> who threw cold water on who? Well, I don't see anything funny. Well, I do. <laughs> Martha Hellebuck. Seven dollars and fifty cents. What do you mean 
mean by shooting my tires? Yeah, and what do you mean by splashing mud on me? After the way you talked against the oil well last night, it's just what you deserve. Yeah, and you deserve to have your tire punctured, too. Just look at me. <laughs> I am. Go ahead and laugh. My turn will come watching you change that tire. Well, I don't know how to change a tire. Well, now's a good time to learn. Gene Autry, I hate you. Well, you don't think I love you, do you? <gasps> you brute! Oh, well, you win. What's so long? Wait a minute. What about my tires? Well, that's for you to worry about. Won't you please just put the jack under the car for me? Well, all right. But I shouldn't. Where is it? In the rear of the car. Are you sure you won't change my tire? I'm positive. Then I'm afraid you'll have to walk. What'd you say? Hey, come back here! You're so clever with a gun, why don't you shoot the horse? Bring the car to the radio station. Where's my saddle? Your saddle? Yes, my saddle. You took it off my horse. Oh, your saddle. Yes, I left it over to the general store. To the general store? To replace the two tires. You're so generously shocked. You think you're pretty smart, don't you? <laughs> and what do you think? Why don't you two try to get along? Oh, why don't you go chase butterflies? I think he's mad at somebody. Hello. Miss Maxwell? This is Mr. Autry. I just wanted to call you and tell you what a marvelous bargain I just made. Bargain? Yes. I just traded your car radio for my saddle. Now that makes us even. You just think it does. Aha, so this is where you've been hiding. Hello, dear. Why didn't you come home for lunch? Well, I, I couldn't get away. You see, I had some business to attend to. Dad, you're worried about that oil well, aren't you? Well, yes. I know why, too. Who told you? George Wilkins. He said you advanced some of the bank's money to get the well started. Isn't that right? Yes, it is. You know, I don't understand why the ranchers can't realize what it would mean to this community if they struck oil out there. They would if it weren't for Gene Autry. He's the most stubborn, conceited, egotistical man I ever knew. I despise him. Come in. Hello, Wilkins. How's the will coming along? Not so good, I'm sorry to say. The men are grumbling about not getting their pay. They threaten to quit tomorrow unless they get their wages. Well, I, I'll have the money in the morning. Oh, but, Dad, Well, you... if they stop drilling, we might as well abandon all hope of getting the people to buy stock. That's the way I look at it. I guess you know what you're doing. Well, I've got to get back to the radio station. Pick you up on the way home. All right, dear. I'd like to walk down the street with you. See you in the morning, Mr. Maxwell. You know, I've got an idea for a new radio program that might help. What is it? Well, I haven't got time to discuss it now, but if you'll ride to the well with me tomorrow morning, I'll tell you all about it. I'll do better than that. I'll drive you in my car. Well, it looks like the meals are on you, Frog. Oh, shucks. I never win when we're racing to see who pays. Uh-oh. Guess I better take you in with me, champ. There's a horse and saddle thief around here. You know, I'd pay you if I had any money. Here's your 
your money, Sanglo. Very, very smart. Thank you, you too much. Now, fellas, how would you like a nice big piece of pie? That's a great idea. Say, I'll take apple. Oh. I ain't got any more money. Mm. Honest, I ain't. See? Well, I guess we're out of luck. Me give you pie if you sing the one good song for Sing Low. Sing high? Sing low! Tim Kanye, you want to come young Nella? I'm sorry, but the boys haven't their instruments. There's piano over there. I don't bother us. We'll make ours. Oh, sweet potato. That's just what I need. Oh, what a lot of holes. Watch out. Yeah, get over there, piano. Yeah. You ready, boys? Ready. Let her go. And now, folks, I have a surprise for you. You're going to hear Gene Autry and his Circle Ranch boys play a novelty number for you on the strangest looking instrument you've ever seen. And this is the Western States Oil Company program. Chinatown, my Chinatown, where the lights are low. I can't know no other man. Cowboy, just come along with me. If westward you'd be going. And you're now hearing the golden voice of Gene Autry himself. And don't forget, this is the Western States Oil Company program. If you want to be a cowboy, learn a cowboy's ABC. Get yourself an old guitar and learn a chord or two. You gotta learn to use a load of eight. Any old tune will do. Learn what makes the rattlesnake rattle, rattle all the day. Grab your six gun, fight your own battle, rat tat tattle away. If you want to be a cowboy, just sing along with me. Well, it's got me. Autry's always been again drilling that oil well. There's something funny about Autry singing for that oil company. And I'm going to find out about it. Get yourself some woolly shops, a can of beans, a pail. Then saddle up a wild mustang and head out on the trail. If you see a wise old owl a blinking from a tree, stop your shooting, hear his hooting, haunting melody. If you want to be a cowboy, just sing along with me. That's a cowboy's A B C. Very good, very good. Can't a big piece pie? Now we 
Beijing. Just a minute. What's the matter, Clem? I thought you were again the drill under that oil well. I am. Then why'd you sing on the oil company's program yesterday? Yeah. Why, you're mistaken. I didn't sing on that program. The heck you didn't. We all heard you. Why, Doris Maxwell even announced it was you. Doris Maxwell? Yes. Is Doris upstairs? Nope. She drove out to the well with Wilkins to deliver the payroll. Now let's talk business. Discuss that radio program. That is why you came along, isn't it? Or isn't it? Huh? Well, well, yes, uh, and no. Uh, now, Doris, uh, why can't you and I sort of get together and... Uh... Well, he picked a fine place to break down. Get out of that car. This is it. Turn the car around. Find your car about five miles down the road. Thanks. I guess I stopped the wrong car. I guess you did. Do you mind getting those rocks out of the road? Funny, I was looking for a car just like this. I said get those rocks out of the road. What's the matter? Nothing we can't take care of. Now get out and line up. I have a little matter to settle with you, Miss Maxwell. First, where's the payroll? Well, this is it, I guess. Oh, you don't know what this means to me. Nice work, Audrey. How did you capture it? By an accident. I set a trap for a music thief. That's what I call a lucky accident. I suppose so. But I still have to settle with a music thief. Audrey, you drive Miss Maxwell back to the well and deliver the payroll. I'll turn these men over to the sheriff. It'll be a pleasure. I'm not so sure. Here's the gun. Thanks. Fine, bunch of smart city guys you are. Letting a cow hand make sense out of you. Yeah, he might be a cowboy, but he's plenty smart. About all you're good for is slugging guys in dark alleys. All right, all right. You said about enough. You weren't so bright yourself. What'd you turn the money over to that cow puncher for? I couldn't turn the payroll and you both loose. Well, here's where I leave you. How about our dough? You don't get any. I'll mess myself up a little bit. It looked like we had a fight. I'll help you. <laughs> but this letter says the bank examiner will be here in a day or two. 
And unless you return to me the money that I've loaned your company, I face a charge of embezzlement. Sorry, but there's nothing I can do about it. The stock would only sell, I could repay you. Is there, is there any chance of the will coming in in the near future? Not a chance. What's more, if I don't get additional money, I'll have to shut down. Sorry, Maxwell. Well, thanks for the buggy ride. Good evening. Well, what happened to you? You mean this? It's a present from those hold-up men. What do you mean? Well, on the way back to town, they pulled a fast one and got away. Gosh, that's too bad. You were lucky to get away as easily as you did. You're telling me. Those men were tough characters. Well, uh, good night. I wonder if they really did get away. You know, it does seem funny that he'd send me on with you while he went back to town. Do you think that... Dad! He's still alive. Dr. Yates, quickly. Why would your father want to commit suicide because the bank examiner was coming? Because he'd, he'd advanced $25,000 for the oil well that he shouldn't have. It meant a prison sentence if they went over his books. Hello, Dr. Yates. Come to the bank quickly. Dad's shot. You see, he didn't do it for himself, Gene. It was for the community that he loaned the money. He knew what it meant if that well came through. We must keep this quiet. Your father was shot in a hold-up. Hold-up? What do you mean was Yes. Someone held him up and took $25,000. Now remember, you know nothing about an attempted suicide. Came back from the county seat, where I found out something important. Not bad, I hope. I should say not. The railroad company's going to run a branch line into this valley if you strike oil. No, I thought you were against the well. Well, at first I was, but the benefit of a railroad sort of changes my mind. Couldn't be uh, Doris Maxwell that changed your mind, could it? You heard what I said. I'm going to call a meeting of the ranchers tomorrow afternoon and ask them to invest in the well. And then you won't have to worry about any more money quite capable of doing my own worries without any help from you. Maybe so, but I'll call the meeting anyway. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, I don't suppose you've heard, but the bank was robbed last night and Maxwell was shot. Maxwell was shot? Yeah. Badly? Well, he's 
He's not dead. He's still alive, but he's unconscious. There's a funny thing about that robbery. Whoever did it left a note saying they were taking $25,000. But you know, between you and me, I don't believe there was that much money in the bank. You see, it seems the old man had been lending out a lot of money that he shouldn't have. Well, that's and... none of my business. Well, I thought that now that you're such a great friend of the family, is that, well, you might be interested. Thanks. I'll see you at the meeting. Nice show you're putting on. Check. I'll open it. What are you fellas holding me here for? For a hundred bucks. Give me two cards. How long do you have to keep me here to earn it? Till after the first of the month. These four inches should be worth a dime. Hey, how about one of you fellas doing me a favor? What? Back it. Will you scratch it? Scratch it yourself. I'll count kind of my hands are tied. Well, figure it out for yourself and shut up. You're spoiling a good poker game. Come on, let's play. Full house. Feels a lot better now. I'm Calamity Jane. Calamity Jane. I blazed the trail and rode the plane. You're certainly tough. I'm tougher than tough. Name is Calamity Jane. I guess you might as well tell the crowd. That's all, folks. Ain't no more. This is Station KXB signing off. Good afternoon. Too bad Autry didn't get here. He missed a good show. Wait a minute, folks. The show isn't over yet. Take your seat. Well, Gene, where have you been? I've been up in the mountain lodge, studying a speech I'm going to make. You should go there sometime, Wilkins. It's beautiful and very reasonable. Ten days for only $100. I haven't got time for mountain resorts. Come on, Doris. Let's sit down and listen to this wonderful speech that Autry's going to make. And now, folks, I'm going to tell you the real reason I had you come here today. When they first started drilling the oil well, I was against it. But now I'm going to support it. And I want all of you to support it, too. Why, on account of Doris McFuller, is the oil company paying you? We don't want to hear any more. That's oh. right. Oh, we'll ruin our water hole. Our minds are made up. We don't want the oil wells. No. <laughs> You've all enjoyed the entertainment at my expense. You might at least have the courtesy to hear what I have to say. Then if you don't agree with me, you can leave. In Lenox yesterday, I learned something that means a lot to us cattlemen. We all know how far we have to drive our stock to the railroads and what a loss we take. Well, if they strike oil, the railroad company is going to run a track right into this town. Having a shipping center close at hand would more than offset any damage done by the oil. That's why I've changed my mind. Now, what do you think? I think Audrey is right. You said it. Me too. A railroad is what we need. All right, go ahead, boys. Our name is Opportunity. We're on our toes, as you can see. To sell you oil stock is our aim. To Canyon City we'll bring fame. Now all you have to do is say, How many shares do you want today? Don't be afraid to make it high, Because our limit is the sky. Now if you're ready, we'll proceed. 
And our advice we wish you'd heed. Whatever you reap is what you sow. And here's your chance to reap some dough. Are you ready? Yeah! Oh, we're the boys from Circle A. We're selling oil stock here today. Instead of talk, we'll sing a song. And to be passed this chance for wealth alone. How many shares you wish to take? Speak up! Don't be so shy. You can't go wrong on a thing like this. You know I wouldn't lie. I don't want any. I don't want none. I wouldn't have the stuff. Do you hear that, boys? This gentleman here is really getting tough. Yeah! You're going to change your mind, my friend. And I'll tell you the reason why. You, you can, can have, have your choice of these big fists or oil right in your eye. I'll take two shares. He wants four shares. He'll take six shares. Give him eight shares. He's got ten full shares. Thanks. Oh, we're the boys from Circle A. We're selling our stock here today. Instead of talk, we'll sing a song as we pass this chance for wealth along. And now we sold our stock to you. Our mission here is almost through. Just one thing more, we'll run along. Let everybody join in song. That's fine. You're not going to have to wait long for the oil well to come in, so let's everybody. Wait for the wagon. marvelous and the western states oil company wants to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for helping them to continue drilling the well here's that sample of what this handwriting good how do you think she's put something over on us we'll soon find out he hasn't can I understand what you're to do sure And now we're going to have another recording. Hello? Hello. 
Hello. Pardon me for a minute, will you? Some bad news for you, Doris. What is it? You've abandoned drilling. Why? Well, there's no oil there. It's a dry well. I've been afraid of it for a long time. Why didn't you say something before? Well, you see, I couldn't in my position. The best that I could do was advise Audrey and tell him not to sell his friends. I thought I shouldn't have taken advantage of him. But isn't there something we can do? Nothing that'll get back to people's hard-earned money. You had a chance to come over to my office. I'll explain it to you in detail. I didn't think Audrey would ever pull a trick like that on us. Why don't you get the mouth on you, boys? If we don't get our money back, we'll lose our ranch. I had a hunch we never should have backed that oil well. Jeannie, is it true the well is dry? What are you talking about? Well, that's what George said, and he said that you knew it when you sold the people the stock. Ah, uh, don't pay any attention to him. He's up to some kind of a trick. Yeah, but they stopped drilling. Well, if the art won't be for long, now stop worrying. Uh-oh. Entertainment. <laughs> Come in. Are you Mr. Archery? You bet I am. And I suppose you're Sam Brown's children. That's right. I bet you want to sing. You said it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a little treat for you today. The cabin kids are going to sing... After you're gone. After you're gone. After you're gone, oh, honey, honey. After you're gone, honey, honey. And don't deny it. You feel blue. You feel sad. Do some plain weather, hey, now come on time, now don't forget it, now come on time, when you regret it, someday, when you go lonely, your heart will break away, and you won't be only, after you go, after you go away, after you go, honey, honey, let the quiet, after you go, honey, honey, you know the night, you feel blue, you feel sad, well, that's fine, kid. Come back up and see us again sometime. We will. All right. This is the Western States Oil Program. And just to prove to you that we always keep our word, here's Jean Autry, ready to sing a song for you. Many times I wonder what's beyond the great divide. Other times I think that I can see. Though I don't really understand what's on the other side. This is how it seems to be to me. I'll go my way along life's highway to the valley where the sun goes down. Short a long road there's not a wrong road to the valley where the sun goes down. I'll grin till I finish my labors, treat folks I meet as my friends, call to them all howdy neighbors, for when the journey ends, Make your mind up, we all must wind up, in the valley where the sun goes down. I'll go my way, along my way. I'll turn that way. thing off. That's what I think of Wall Street. Why don't you go up the radio station and tell him to his face? You're afraid. Who's afraid? Come on, fellas. Come on. Sure. 
Oh. Can you imagine him singing that kind of stuff after what he's done? Yeah, he gave us a pretty raw deal. Why don't you do something about it instead of standing here talking? If he took my money, he wouldn't get away with it. He ain't gonna get away with ours either. Come on! 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 In the valley where the sun goes down. We've come to settle with you, Audrey. What for? For selling a stock in a dry well when you knew it all the time. That well's not dry. Oh, yes, it is. Yes. Then what are you doing with a personal lease on the property that begins when your company's lease expires? Here's a copy I got over at the county seat. Any of you fellows want to take a look at it? Yeah. Well, Tommy knows all about that. I took out that lease as a protective measure. While you're doing all this explaining, maybe you can explain this. Sheriff, give me that note that was found at the bank after it was held up. Here's a sample of Autry's handwriting. You'll notice that they're both the same. Uh, Autry held up the bank and he shot Maxwell. Hey, what are under arrest, Autry? Let's handle this our own way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't need the law. That uh, jail's too good for you. Ray, Gene's innocent. He didn't hold up the bank. Oh, no, Mr. Holmes. He's trying to protect him. Yeah, yeah. he's yeah. jumping. Let's try to work now. Look at him. Hey, 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 See you, Walter. Come out of there. You're covered. All right, boys. Let's go and get him. Well, I'll be hanged. Matter, Sam, what happened? Mr. Wilkins shot me. Wilkins shot you? Yes. Why? Because I found out that the well ain't dry and was gonna tell you. You mean it struck oil? No, sir. But it's ready to be brought in. All you got to do is shoot it. Where's the dynamite? We ain't got none. You'll be all right. I'll send the dot for you. Yes, sir. you would. Never mind me. Call the doctor and tell him Sam Brown's been shot. You'll find him on the hill above the oil well. Get these dusty gates. Hi, Dean. I thought Jack had outside. What are you doing in town? No time to talk now. Come with me. That's his horse, all right. There he is. <laughs> Get my horse cut across country and meet me old flat.
Bring the dynamite. What are you going to do, Chief? I'm going to blow the well in. Give it the box. So you're going to blow it up, huh? Well, I'll make them wish they'd never picked on you. I said blow it in, not blow it up. There's oil here, and this is the way you get it. With dynamite? Well, if you haven't got anything else. Paul Trey must have disappeared in thin air. Paul Trey's headed for the well. Whoa. Ah. You're going to get away from me. You're free. Get along, little butterfly, for it won't be for long. All right, Frog, here she goes. Y'all move, Audrey. You push that down and I'll fire. We figured you'd come back here, but this well isn't going to come in until after the first. Take him, boys. I'm gonna get you, you Savannah Stabricus. I have to take you clear to heaven. time, Audrey. I'm not trying to get away. I want to prove there's oil here by blowing in this well. The well's dry, I tell you. You just wreck the machinery and that'll cost you stockholders a lot of money. That machinery belongs to us and we don't want it blown up. Yeah, you can't get away with no more of your tricks. Come on, Audrey. You've got to listen to me. Gene didn't rob the bank and he didn't shoot my father. Dad shot himself. Why didn't you say that before? I tried to, but nobody would listen to me. And it won't be in the mouth. Hey, come get the rest of them. These piles of money you behold are from the sale of your black gold. You'll all be rich like golden times. In fact, so rich you pass out dimes. 
And who, I ask, have you got to thank? Why, not the man that runs the bank. And not the man who owns the land. But Autry, give him a hand. Oh, first thing on our list is key. To sell him was like pulling teeth. He's happy now, as you can tell. Because oil is well and dead.